Good day, class. I am recording this lecture video as a means to assist us in deciphering our lessons. The second lesson for the last topic that we are going to cover for the final examination, in which this time we are going to be tackling different types of drum. So firstly, as we go along with our discussion, let's talk about the different types of drama that we are going to encounter. First, we have comedy, followed by opera, farce, melodrama, musical drama, and tragic comedy. Now let's discuss one by one what are these types of drama. First, we have comedy. Key points in discussing or trying to understand what is comedy. Number one, this is usually humorous place. Lighthearted tones wherein there are usage, where there is a usage of clever wordplay. They they also consist, or this also consists of comical misunderstandings to add more of the mischief to provide humorous, the humorous aspect of this particular type. And they have happy endings. They are silly, offbeat, char offbeat characters, and often ends with a wedding or especially in romantic comedies. So drama in which we talk about comedy is still being portrayed as having a different set of uh, tone in the story because you, you try to make people laugh with it and there are different elements that constitute drama. For example, one of the most famous examples of a comedy is William Shakespeare's Much Ado About Nothing. Beatrice and Benedict transition from foes to lovers with clever banter and more than a few silly misunderstandings. And like all proper Shakespearean comedies, it ends with a wedding. So this was... Uh, kind of interpreted into a movie and you have big stars there such as Michael Keaton, Keanu Reeves, Robert Sean Lo uh, Leonard, Emma Thompson. You also have Denzel Washington to name a few. Now, uh, another type of drama is farce. So when we talk about farce, this is considered as a broad comedy. We need to say exaggerated young humor. There are slapstick gags and the storyline is nonsensical. Improbable, event, uh, improbable events are present wherein there are one or two settings. Humor is often crude and inappropriate. Example uh, of farce in literature, such as The Taming of the Shrew, is a partial play where the characters and writing style draw humor from the audience. The play has stereotypical characters, including Katerina, the boisterous headstrong wife who plays the shrew, and Bianca, which is their father's favorite child. The plot plays out like a situational comedy with a romantic subplot. So that's an example of a farce. Another is opera. Opera are dramas in which the characters sing each line rather than speak them. The entire production is set to a musical score, wherein the subject matter is or has a tragic, comic, or melodramatic uh, characterization. It can be incorporated as an element of dance, but typically relies on singing performances. So if not dance, definitely not we singing that aspect. And they have elaborate sets, costume designs, and productions to make the appeal of the presentation more cunning and more interesting to the spectators. Example, one of the most famous operas of all, all time is uh, Giacomo Puccini's La Bohème. It tells the, tra the tragic story of Rodolfo Mimi and the world of French Bohemian. Set to one of opera's most memorable scores, the story reveals itself over the course of a particular year. So if you have heard the story or the song, Bohemian Rhapsody, this was one of the uh, inspirations taken by Freddie Mercury in composing the song Bohemian Rhapsody. But of course, this is exaggerated na kaya niya hang um, comedy at a farce, more a little bit of tragic comedy, but definitely this is one of the most famous um, opera plays of all time. Uh, Giacomo Puccini's La Bohemi or La Bohemi. Okay, now we also have melodrama. Melodrama tells a serious story in a serious way. They have character tropes such as heroes, heroines, villains, mentors, etc. They have sweeping stories of romance and or serious topics. They have larger-than-life plots as well and different circumstances, such as very small stories told in big ways. They, are, they have exaggerated character reactions because it, tells, try, it tries to tell a particular plot in a very um, 
condescending manner in, in which you must mas sometimes sa mga audience in in one viewing. Therefore, they have clear literary themes. They may have plot characters who must overcome their faults in order to reach their resolution. So they now play with the character sketches and they play with the plot using that particular um, character. And the ending is sometimes happy, but more of the times unhappy. Kasi nga, melodrama man. Pero that's the type of drama that is uh, also influenced by the different culture present in a particular country or in a particular area, such as in the Philippines. Most of our dramas or melodramas here, although they have different stories or plots, they usually end up happy or they usually end up in a resolution. Now, all the characters have resolutions in their own uh, personalities or in their own character sketches, such as one of the examples of melodrama is considerably Henry Ibsen's Adal, Adal's House, when uh, which refers to a melodrama. Nora's over-the-top reactions place the play right into the definition of a melodrama. The ending is a mix of both happiness and hope for Nora and sadness and despair for Torval. So that's an example of melodrama. You can play actually with the characters and the setting and the characters and the plot in how you wanted the story to transpire, whether they end up happily or they end up in a karabitao, uh, they end up in a in an edge bitao. Uh, what's the proper term? Whether the ending is happy or the ha the ending is a cliffhanger for the audience or the you know the readers or the audience or the viewers have something to look forward, especially if you are going to have a reenactment or uh, another version or another edition or series of that particular story. Now, we also have musical drama. These are periods of standard storyline that are interrupted by songs. Uh, the characters often sing in unison to express their feelings. Songs as plot changing, songs are used as plot changing devices. Therefore, uh, in musical drama, they have either dramatic or comedic storylines. They are catchy, distinctive musical scores that often has a lot of singing and dancing. So, ang mag, ang mag change or ang mag shift sa scenes in, or the plot in musical drama is usually through songs or performances of characters that lead you know, to another uh, episode or to another um to another scene or to another plot, a continuation of a particular plot, such as the most famous uh, musical, Les Miserables, or The Phantom of the Opera, which was adapted from longer literary works. Taas, kena siyang Les Miserables, and then ilalagi, shortened to make it a musical drama. Both of these musical dramas express their themes directly through song and progress the plot with musical numbers. They simplify their source material by putting the most important characters and story elements on the stage. If atong basahon ang literary work or literature sa Les Miserables and the Phantom of the Opera is very long. It will take you quite some time to finish it to understand it fully. That is why when we put it into musical dramas, we are now trying to put the main characters and the most essential elements of the story on the center stage. You are trying to omit, but then again, not necessarily omitting it, but just simply, kanak bitang imo lang gi, um, di put ko mo ingon to squeeze class because the most important thing there is that you emphasize the totality of the character, the totality of the plot, and the different elements of the story without necessarily complicating the idea originally of what you are trying to portray or the story that you are trying to portray. So basically, ilahan lang gihatagal emphasis kato mga more significant ng mga plot sa stories at kato mga more significant ng mga elements sa ilahang presentation. Okay? Now, we also have tragedy. Kung mo isa't yan itag tragedy, this is where a protagonist has a tragic flaw. Wherein, there are circumstances that quickly get out of control and it is not in a funny way, in any stretch. The uh, tragedy is more of the darker themes than a melodrama because uh, it presents a, a tragic flaw, meaning to say, grabe, jika yung agi-agian sa imuhang 
protagonist and sa ibuhang antagonist. When we talk about darker themes compared to a melodrama, this consists of human suffering, hatred, poverty in the deepest kind of deepest levels. Diba? Therefore, this features the downfall of a previously heroic or well-liked character and an um, irredeemable ending that results in one or more characters' death. Also, a tragedy reaches a tragic catharsis in the plot of the story, such as William Shakespeare's Othello. Shakespeare has any number of tragedies to, to choose from. The good guy, tragic poet, no pwede ni makonsider si William Shakespeare because uh, nagan kayo siya o mga stories that are very close to the, the theme of tragedy. Pero, he is well-rounded because he also has a lot of romance, comedies, um, rom-coms, melodramas that we can consider. So basically, um, Shakespeare is a, a very well-rounded poet or, or um, uh, literature author, etc. So in Othello class, its cruel villain, its hero's tragic downfall, and its desperate sad ending make it a standout out of his works because Othello, in the story, Othello loses everything that he has ever loved or wanted because he cannot trust that he deserves the life that he has. So, ano na siya nagkar mga self-help kung deserve ba niya ni ng mga gipang nga gidawat niya. So, we need to say, because of his um, self-doubt, there are now a lot of challenges that has hindered him from accepting the full potentials of his uh, characteristics and his life that he has, no? So, muna siya liha ang tragic or tragedy. Kung mo isa takarong tragic comedy, it is combined elements of tragedy and comedy. This is more complex than a drama because there are few jokes or a comedy with a serious scene. Muna nga kita consider na to siya as dark comedy. Therefore, a serious storyline is told in a humorous, sardonic, or snide way. Tragically flawed characters whose actions don't result in death are more common in these types of drama. It is ambiguous. It has an ambiguous theme. And more importantly, there are broad characters who act in classically comical ways. Broad may kayo ilang character sketch. Pero ang ilang pagdala or pagportray is, is very comical. That's why we can still find you more despite of the tragic flaw that they have. And it is neither a happy nor a comic ending. But when a tragic comedy, it is more of a, a pun to the audience. The audience has to understand whether or not the ending is tragic or um, comic ba ang ending filled with comedy. But kung hindi ka ni, o hindi ka sabot ang, hindi ka sabot ang, ang reader, ang audience. So basically, that's that's what makes it difficult to comprehend all in all. Example is, of course, the most famous merchant of Venice. This was made into a film. Also, this is one of notable examples of tragic comedy by William Shakespeare. The Merchant of Venice, The, the Winter's Tale, and The Tempest. Uh, they revolve with one another, basically connecting these stories, which also stand out in the works of Shakespeare. So those are the different examples of drama. And I hope that you were able to pick up on the different notions of the, di the differences of every type of drama from the most basic down to the most uh, complex and the most challenging, such as uh, tragedy, tragic comedy, and the like. So I hope that you find this video very helpful, especially in, off in the offshoot of our discussions. And I will see you in class. And hopefully that you are going to watch this video until this one. Thank you very much and a good day to everybody.